Welcome! In this Lightroom Quick Edit I'm gonna take this picture of the Big Ben and I'm gonna turn it into a photo like this in of course just about 5 minutes. This was taken in the summer of 2014, obviously near the Big Ben, and unfortunately the lighting was really bad. The sun was right in the picture and it was really overexposed, but I think the picture turned out pretty good. Now, you, as you can see, there are people and that was actually not my intention. That was just purely accident. I was just setting up my camera on a tripod, had a lower shutter speed so I could get some blur in the water and you know just a family went by and I think it actually really really works. I think this would be a pretty good you know tourist photo or something like that and I just think that because the people are blurry it gives a sense of time along with the Big Ben and the clock and stuff. I mean it's not ideal because of the completely overexposed sky but I still think I can make something out of it. So let's get started. First thing definitely want to raise the shadows and get some detail in all of these beautiful spots in this arch right here then I'm also gonna lower the highlights so we at least get a little bit of a better exposure there and let's see bringing down the blacks a little bit the whites themselves actually definitely not want to bring them up let's actually see if I want to bring them down but at the end I think maybe like minus 10. Now bringing down the whites is really something I really do very very rarely. But because the sky is so overexposed I think that's the best option we have here. Then contrast I think I'm gonna add a little bit. I really just want to bring a little bit more interest and make the whole picture a little bit more alive. Let's see color temperature. I actually am not gonna change the color temperature but I am going to add just a little bit of tint. Then let's finish up the basics adjustment and I'm definitely gonna add some clarity. I think that works great for this photo. Around 50 and vibrance lastly. Maybe just a little bit. And let's go down to the tonal curve of course and here you know really not uh, an ordinary picture in terms of the highlights so that's why I'm actually not going to increase any of the highlights but let's just quickly go over the rest of these settings and just go with whatever looks best of course really won't have that big of an impact here's before the tonal curve, here's after, just a little bit and then actually I want to play around with split toning and see if I want to add some color in the highlights hmm I think this could make the picture even more interesting Let's actually go ahead and add a little bit of orange, just around 30 saturation here. And then go back up and actually go down of the color temperature. Sometimes it really can work to add a lot of, or at least some of, uh, orange in the split toning. And then if the whole picture looks too warm, then just go back into the temperature slider. And bring that one back a little bit, so it kind of isn't too much. So let's go back again and fine tune the saturation. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at around 30 and I think that works pretty well. So obviously because this is a five minute quick get it, I'm gonna do all of these other adjustments rather quick. I'm just gonna add some color noise reduction and some sharpening just a little bit and I think I'm done with the global adjustments now I'm really not sure if I want to add any local adjustments let me think I think I'm gonna at least try to grab a graduated filter just for the very top here kinda close out the picture another one for the very bottom right here and also bring down the exposure right there and I think it works pretty good. Now as you can see pretty much the entire water and the entire sky is overexposed so I'm gonna grab an adjustment brush, bring down the exposure and the highlights just for the adjustment brush and just try to bring down some of the exposure right there and see if it works. Hmm. I mean it's really difficult to recover highlights if you initially clip them 
in your raw file because there aren't any detail but sometimes it can look a little bit better if you bring it down a little bit. I don't think the look that it works really well for this guy so actually let me remove that but I think it kind of works for the water so let's see before after I mean it's really a very very minor adjustment and I think lastly I'm gonna add some dodge and burning and first thing or for the most part anyways I think I'm gonna add some minus exposure filters down here at this bridge just because I think the whole scene is a little bit flat so a little bit more minus exposure in some parts could greatly help the interest of the photo so duplicate maybe a random spot over here there one on the floor and maybe here so we have a little bit more differentiation and actually let me grab another one and the final one on this lower part of the bridge so before any dodge and burning and after just a little bit more interesting so I think I am done here, let's just always see the before really very flat compared to the after picture and here's of course the after it seems just a little bit more alive once again not an ideal picture but I think at the end it's definitely a better option than before be sure to subscribe for more Lightroom videos just like this one and other tutorials. Like or dislike the video accordingly. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.